In this video, I want to talk a little about some of the benefits or some of the things that I like about painting with kind of vague and indistinct features in a portrait. Uh, and what I mean by that is rather than explicitly detailing certain like just lines in a painting, trying to really show definition, this is more so the suggestion of certain features. So kind of using light and shadow to hint at where certain things are supposed to be. Um, I, I feel like this is something that might boil down to personal preference a lot. Um, there's a certain style of painting that really resonates with me. It's more kind of the impressionist or um, kind of light focused, color focused, painterly look. Uh, I, I'm not really someone that hyper-realism resonates with in terms of just like just being an art appreciator, just an art enjoyer. My favorite paintings are usually very, as I said, painterly. They have that really unique look that uh, is kind of, I guess, a hallmark of oil painting, particularly kind of like the John Singer Sargent style of painting. Uh, that really resonates with me and in my paintings it's something that I've found my favorites usually have that sort of look to them. Um, there's a lot of suggestions of certain features. So the painting that I have on screen right now is one that is a, I think a pretty solid example of what I'm talking about. So my approach to these usually is to start very broad with kind of loose brush strokes, building, getting the big building blocks in for the portrait. And then as I work from that broad, large scope, I bring it down and start bring, scoping it down to get more, more definition, more detail. What that allows me to do is decide how far down I want to scope it. How detailed do I actually want to get with the painting. What I found is that a lot of times when I don't go down to that, well, let me paint eyelashes. Let me really get the lines inside the inside the eye as, as, as close as I can. When I don't take that step, I find I really like the, the end effect, the look that the paintings have at the end. So again, that comes down to personal preference, just a style that I enjoy. I find that the, those tend to be my favorite paintings and um, I just enjoy making them and I enjoy the way they look afterwards. So uh, I feel like that's kind of what a lot of painting comes down to is, you know, particularly if you're a hobbyist like myself, do you enjoy what you're doing? Do you enjoy the paintings you're making? Are they fun to you? If yes, good job, you're doing it. So. That's, that's kind of the big thing for me. So in this painting, that's exactly what I was doing. I was working from broad to specific and I decided I liked where this was going without trying to worry too much about the really fine details. Focus on kind of lean back, focus on the overall impression that the painting is giving. Uh, I feel like that that is probably still something I could do more of is pause, lean back, get some space away from the painting and try to appreciate what is there and figure out what needs to be added or changed. Um, doing that kind of allowed me to make some decisions about color as well. So I liked where I was going with kind of the ill-defined, loose, indistinct look, particularly with the eyes, nose, and mouth, that little area there. Um, the, the very indistinct kind of suggestion of things I really liked. So I saw that and I thought this would be really nice with some, some different color effects. So kind of some light on one side, some really vivid light too. get some more blues going. So I got to make some color decisions that I think really worked well with that vague indistinct feature game plan. So kind of looking back at this painting, I was really pleased with the decisions that I made with it. So um, it has a lot of the, 
a lot of the traits of some older paintings that I've done that I really liked. So uh, that's pretty much all I have on this topic. I know it's kind of a weird loose one. It's, it's loose just like the painting style. So um, if anyone has any thoughts on that kind of interplay between those indistinct features and then when do you get the detail, uh, it's always interesting to hear that. So uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you for the next one.